Yo guys, what's going on? It's Shauno here. Today, we're going to be looking at the pre bis gear for Phase 2 and going through all of the options. There's going to be an absolutely insane item in here, which will definitely be helping us pass really high in Phase 2. You'll definitely need this item, so make sure you stay tuned so you don't miss out. So we'll be starting off with the head slot. Now, this gear set is actually for Fire and Arcane, so we'll be looking at all the options here. So these, obviously, are Engineering 245, so it's very likely that they won't be available. Same with the spell power goggles. So we're kind of looking at Arcane Wrath here and Fire Damage, which happens to be level 40, so it's optimized really nicely. It's coming with 27 damage. Now, there's a lot of options here, 26, 26. Um, but what we'll be going with is probably, we're gonna go with the Thinking Cap. So if you've got the Thinking Cap, keep hold of the thinking cap if you don't have the thinking cap then you may be looking for one of these items because I'm just thinking about intellect here now there's not really any good options with intellect so the thinking cap has definitely got with eight intellect it's it's gonna be a pre uh, item going into the next raid next we're going for the neck now the neck will be the jagged bone necklace if you don't have that, we've got the Triune Amulet here. We've got some nice 10 intellect options here from the auction house. But you will probably have this one. We'll go for this one because it's got a nice amount of spell power on there and a little bit of intellect. Now for the shoulders, we again, we've got some nice options here. Optimized to level 40 with 20 arcane damage. But what we'll be going for is the Inquisitor's Shawl, which drops in Scarlet Monastery. Eight intellect and nine spell damage. I mean, you could use either one of these, but I'm gonna say at the start, we probably wanna be looking at our intellect a bit more until we get some gear together. But we know in the future, we can use these optimized 20 damage gear. But let's go with this one so we get the eight intellect. For the back options, again, we've got some spell damage. 14 spell damage on there. It's probably going to be our best, to be honest, guys. So you've got the fire one and you've got the arcane one. So we'll just say that we're arcane at the moment, but obviously you do have the fire option there as well. For the chest, we've got this really nice uh, option here from tailoring. It's probably going to be the best so being a tailor is going to be very very good for us level 40 it's got nine intellect it's got 18 spell power obviously the spirit is really high as well the other options obviously is the arcane wrath we've got 23 damage there to be honest guys we might have this one so when you think about it this one's 11 intellect and eight spell damage this one is 18 spell damage with nine intellect. So even if you've got the two set, so with the two set, this is giving you sort of 17 spell damage. Um, this one is still gonna be better. So we're definitely gonna pick up Dreamweave Vest from Tailoring. Now for the wrists, uh, we've got these bad boys. Now you should have been grinding Exalted in phase one because obviously it's not until the 8th of February that so we've got lots of time to get this. Um, but if you don't have that, you're probably looking at Arcane Wrath. Obviously, the Phoenix Bindings are still pretty strong. But if we compare it, then the Phoenix Bindings are 13 fire damage, whereas we're going to be able to get 14 fire damage just on the green items here. Um, we've got the Mind First Braces, obviously, but I don't think... So there are nine intellect. We've got some options here for nine intellect anyway. So the mind first braces are not gonna be pre bis We will probably go definitely with these ones. These are probably gonna be bis all the way through. If not, then we're looking at sort of 14 arcane damage on the wrists. But let's just go with these bad boys. Uh, next up for the hands. Now the hands, again, we've got a few options here. 10 intellect there with 11 spell damage but the dream weave it's got 18 spell damage 
with four intellect. Uh, 18 down, we've got these ones down here that we should have. Is nine intellect and six spell damage. Nine intellect, six spell damage. This one's less intellect, but it's a lot more spell damage. So it's gonna be between these two, to be honest. Um, we're looking at sort of, this one is gonna be about seven points better. We'll go with the Dreamweave Gloves. If for some reason we were struggling with intellect, we could look to potentially get this one. But this has got spirit as well, which is why the points are, you know, obviously seven points better. For the waste, we've got some fiery wrath options here for fire, which is 20 spell damage. Um, but we're probably gonna grind up the Arafi Basin rep. It's likely STV. PvP zone might have AB rep just like Ashenvale had Warsong rep. This has obviously got four intellect, but it's got 14 spell damage. So you're sort of looking at between this one and this one if you're fire, but the intellect on here will be nice. Other than that, this one's got a lot of intellect, so that's another option from RFD. But to be honest, we're probably going to go with filers cloth girdle for the legs we've got some fiery wrath options 51 dps points but that's 27 fire damage it's going to be between the 27 fire damage of your fire if you're arcane you're going to go for these ones 12 intellect is really nice and 14 spell damage so that's kind of I would say on par they're on par with each other even if you're fire but obviously if you're good for intellect then then you can go for the fiery wrath soul age pants are gonna be the next best best option to be honest so you might have all these already so you could probably go into normal with these anyway but the red mage weave pants are looking really good for feet We've got Arcane Wrath, 20 damage. We've got the South Sea Mojo Boots, which is a quest. I'm not sure, I can't remember this quest, how easy these are gonna be, but 11 intellect seems really good with uh, eight spell damage as well. Uh, I like the look of that. The Arcane Wrath, and then obviously you've got your normal Epic Boots, which you probably should have anyway. So this one, obviously, you've got a hit percent with that. So depending on how hit is, but if you're arcane, you should have more than enough hit from talents. So you'd probably go with these South Sea Mojo boots if we can get hold of them. Let's look at the fingers now. Now the fingers, obviously, you've got the advisor's ring, but remember this one is different from the one we're thinking of. This one is the level 38 one. It's got nine spell damage on it. Bit of mp5 and some stamina the signet of the twilight lord is going to be best guys um, you can get uh, 10 intellect on this one here just a world drop but we're probably going to be very similar to level 25 um, the difference being obviously getting the level 38 one the rep will still be the same it'll still be honored other than that there's not too many options to be honest so it makes sense if you've got this now let's just assume you don't have the signet of twilight lord you could look to get a tin intellect ring now for the trinkets we're obviously going to have the pearl still it's going to be pre -bis. there's not too many trinket options you're going to have carrot on the stick obviously I would say we're looking at, you've got Rune of Perfection again. It's just seven stamina. Uh, you've got the Defiler's Talisman, which is no good to us. So we're gonna look at probably this one again, or some mana back. You can switch it in and out. Hydral Charm, brilliant for PVP. But yes, we're gonna go with this one. Now for the weapon, we are looking at the staff, the epic staff, if you've got it, it's gonna be Prebis. So, 
This is where it gets juicy, to be honest, guys. The actual staff is going to be Prebis without question, right? But let's have a look at some other options. Let's say we're not going for a two-hander. Obviously, the next best would be the Dagger of Willing Sacrifice, which you can pick up right now. The Hypnotic Blade is a little bit better because it's got eight intellects on there. A little bit less damage. Now, if you look at this one, it's 26 spell damage, right? So let's say we take the Dagger of Willing Sacrifice. Now, the next item I'm going to show you is absolutely game-breaking, and it's absolutely vital that you pick this up and you don't pick up the staff. So the item we're talking about is, of course, the orb here, which has free intellect and 13 damage. The main thing about this is the on use effect. So it restores 400 to 1200 mana, but let's just ignore that for a second. If we do the maths, it's gonna be 25 spell damage. Obviously, the, this one is 26, right? But the intellect is a lot more on this staff. Like, that's a big lot amount of intellect. But the reason I'm talking about this is you're going to pick this up anyway because of the on-use effect. Now, with the on-use effect, it doesn't trigger mana potion cooldown. It doesn't trigger trinket cooldown. It doesn't trigger your mana gems cooldown. So basically, it's actually pre bis all the way up until probably beyond Molten Core. Now the reason for this is restoring the mana is 400 to 1200. So if it's 1200, if you get lucky, let's say it's a thousand, it's still a lot more value than the intellect on the staff, but there is a 30 minute cooldown. Now this is where we have to think about it more closely. So it's a 30 minute cooldown, but we're going to be using it for passing. So when we find the Noma bosses, uh, we'll be using this item. We'll know which ones we need the most mana for to be the most efficient, pass the highest. Therefore, it's vital that we pick this up. And each time you raid, you're going to work out maybe, let's say, I don't know, Noma is a lot bigger than BFD, right? So BFD, a good run is 20 to 30 minutes. Now, at the start, maybe it was 40 minutes, up to an hour if you were wiping and, and discovering stuff. But let's say Noma is twice as long. You're looking at, say, maybe two or three uses of this. It's gonna be essential to pass. Now, the reason I say this is because you've got another option from the same quest. And the other option is the staff, which looks really good on paper, right? And most mages are going to pick this without realizing how good the orb is. Like, you will be using this in phase two. You'll be using this in phase three. You'll be using this in phase four. There's no reason you can't use it because you would use it to get the mana back and then you would swap out the orb. So like at the moment, it, it, it's one of the best anyway, right? So with 13 spell damage, you know, let's just say for argument's sake that this one was better. We would run with the orb until we need to use the mana and then we can swap it out because it's a weapon. You can swap out in combat. Same if you had the staff you could swap to the staff. So the power of this orb is so strong. Maybe I'm not explaining it properly. It's so powerful. Like, there's no way to explain. And the last thing we're gonna talk about is the wand. Now, with the wand, you've, you've kind of got a choice here. Um, so you're gonna have a quest and we're going to talk about this. So you're going to have a quest which is going to ha make you choose between Arcane, Fire and Frost. And it's up to you what you choose. 
I would say this is an easy one to get. Eventually, obviously, this is better because this is going to give us 14 damage. But the thing I will say about these is they are all shadow damage. So I would highly recommend, if you plan on healing anything at all, to get this one because this is an arcane damage wand. So not only does it increase the damage done by arcane spells by 9, it gives us a little bit of intellect, but it's an arcane wand. These ones are not. So you could pick up this fiery wrath one, and you could pick up this arcane one. Now if you're really into PvP, then my, uh, you might get the frozen option for, for PvP, but I would highly recommend everyone gets this arcane wand because it's arcane damage. Okay, so this is basically what our prebis is gonna look like. There is options like with the head. If we want it more spell power, we can get a lot more spell power. If you've made it this far then clearly you're dedicated to mage so hit the subscribe button and you'll get all the best secrets tips and tricks going in for phase two otherwise check out this video on the screen now it's going to tell you everything you need to know about arcane mage <laughs>